nocturne number one in C major is certainly the easiest of all the nocturnes in book one. But even though I say it's the easiest, it still requires some very careful listening skills. And I would like to hear that right hand melody played so smooth, so legato. And at the same time, it's a very good little exercise for getting the second finger or the thumb to come under the second finger very smoothly and naturally. Let me just play a little bit of that first phrase because I would like to hear a beautiful shaping of that right hand melody and always going to the focal point or the heart of the phrase. Okay, so you hear how I shape that. The D was the not only the highest note, but it was really the focal point. Sometimes the heart of the phrase could be the last note. It might be the lowest note. It could be the first note. It could even be the last note of a phrase, but it all depends on the underlying harmonies as well. In the left hand, I would like to have a lifting of the wrist at each half rest. I have written those rests in very purposely to help guide students in getting the left hand relaxed and floating and never holding on to those rests. The pedal will sustain the notes for you. Let me just show you what I mean. See how I just float out of every single quarter note, uh, each second quarter note of, of those little phrase groupings. This particular nocturne also has a short cadenza. And if for a lot of uh, students, it might be the first time they've ever played an actual cadenza. And when this little cadenza is being performed, I would like to have it sound very free, almost improvised. So this is what I would prefer when I hear it played. I'll start in measure 28. So you hear that kind of flexibility that I gave it towards the end of the cadenza where I took a little bit more time and I stretched it at the very, very beginning. On the last line, you'll notice that there's one pedal all the way through the last four measures. So I wanna make sure that we don't change the pedal at every measure because earlier in this piece, of course, the pedal changes are more frequent. But here, I really want that beautiful, sustained harmonic color to go through the entire four measures on that last line. And you'll also notice that I held that last measure at least four beats, and I wouldn't care if it was held five or six. So. Uh, I hope that that will help you in interpreting this very first nocturne in C major.